Okay, greetings one and all and welcome to day number three. Yes, day number three of our journey together. Day number three, week 15 of our journey together. And it's definitely a delight to have each and every one of you um, here for this evening. Okay, so today is the... Six. Today is the six, so today is Wednesday. Six. Wednesday, the, the 6th of December. Twenty twenty three. The subject is of course um mathematics. And we're gonna begin with section one today. Section one is going to be linear equations. So section one is, wait, did we finish flow charts? Did I give y'all a test on flow chart yesterday? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, yeah, I remember that y'all about like 15 or 15 or something like that. All right, so section number one is going to be linear equations. Linear equations. That's what we're going to be looking at today. Now, for linear equations, so there's different types of equations. So you have um, simultaneous equations. That's one type of equation. Um, simultaneous equations is when you have two variables and you have to solve both for x and y. Um, and simultaneous equations are names are named is named in that way because you kind of have to solve all two of the you have to, you, you kind of have to solve all two of the variables together simultaneously together at the same time. Um, then you have you have something called quadratic equations. Now quadratic equations, can you all let me? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. And then you have something called quadratic equations. So quadratic equations, you don't have to write this down, by the way. But quadratic equations, they look sort of like this. So it's gonna be x squared um plus two x plus, we could say minus eight equals zero. This is what we call a quadratic equation. So quadratic equation is named in that way because the highest power of x is two. That's what we call a quadratic equation. And then you have a cubic equation. So a cubic equation is going to be one where you have x cubed plus, let's say four x squared um, plus, let's say, 5x minus 4 or minus 12 equals 0. So this is what we call a cubic equation. Why do we call it a cubic equation? Because the highest power of x is 3. So this one has quadratic, right? This one has cubic, all right? And then we have another one, another type of equation, which is, uh, we call it, don't, you don't have to write this down, by the way. I'm just showing you the different types. So x to the fourth, seven x to the third power, um, plus eight x squared. Are we writing this, Mr. Petit? No, you don't have to write this down. Plus um, four x minus two. Now this one is what we call a quartic equation. It's a quartic equation because the highest power of x is four. So quadratic equation is the equation where the highest power of x is two. A uh, cubic equation is a, a is the equation where the highest power of x is three. And then quartic equation is the equation where the highest power of x is what? Four. four. Now, what do you think we call where the highest power of x is 5? What do we call that? Anyone know? So you have x to the fifth power plus 8 x to the fourth power plus 
um, 9x to the third power plus 11x squared plus um, 10x minus 3. Now, if it's if the highest power of x is 2, then we call it a quadratic equation. If the highest power of x is 3, we call it a what? Cubic equation. If the highest power of x is 4, we call it a quartic equation. But if the highest power of x is 5, we call it a quintic equation. All right? So quadratic, cubic, um, quartic, and then quintic. So these are different types of equations, but today we're going to be looking at linear equations, right? Linear equations is when, something like this, x plus 2 equals to 0. This is what we call a linear equation. Why is this a linear equation? Because the highest power of x is what? Is what? 1. 1. Very good. So linear equation is one of the simplest types of equations because it's the equation where the highest power of x is one. And as you get better and better in maths, then they'll tell they'll teach you how to do um, quadratic equations, then cubic, and then quartic, and then quintic, all right? So today we're gonna to be looking at um, the, quadra the linear equation. A linear equation is where the highest power of x is one, which means that we don't write any power on top of it because it is known that the highest power of x is 1. So that's linear equations. It's the equation where the highest power of your variable is 1. So let's write down, let's write down this question. You can write this down. This is the first question or the first example. Write this down for me, please. And I want Natalia to read the question. Pardon me? I want you to read this with the question. I think of a number, subtract three, and my result is four. Very good. So I think of a number, subtract three, and my result is four. And so the question says, let Y represent the unknown number. All right. So I think of a number, subtract three, and my result is four. And we have to let Y represent the unknown number. So that means that Y is the variable. And so... Um, Natalia, can you read the instructions, please? Write an equation. Write an equation to represent the information. Very good. And Chai, can you read this for me, please? I think of a number. I think of a number, subtract three, and my result is four. Very good. Read this part, too. Let Y represent the unknown number. Mm hmm Write an equation to represent the information. Very good. We have to write an equation to represent this information. And let me use another reader. Um, Kvet, can you read this for me, please? I think of a number. Kvet, percent T. I think of a number. Can you read it for me? I think of a number. Subtract three and my um results is four. Mm -hmm. Let y. Let y represent the unknown number. Mm -hmm. A write um equation to re represent the information. Very good. Write an equation to represent the information. So I think of a number. Subtract three and my result is four. We're gonna let y represent the unknown number, and we wanna write an equation. Um, to represent this information. All right, so I want Navea. Navea, um, can you tell me what to do? I want y to represent my unknown number, and I'm writing an equation to represent this information. I think of a number, I subtract three, and my result is four. So what is my equation going to be, Navea? Y subtract three equals four. Okay, that's what you think it is. Shadney, do you agree with her? 
Yes, yeah, sir. Sure, you agree. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. You sure. <laughs> You're making me nervous now. <laughs> All right, it is y minus three equals four. That's correct. Okay, so y is that unknown number, right? So I think of a number, right? Y, I subtract three and my result is four. And so this is how we're gonna write it down. Make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So I think of a number, which is y subtract three, and my result is four. So that's how we get it. Ajani, do you understand this so far? I think so of a number. Why, so what is y? Yeah, we haven't solved it yet. So we just they just want us to write down the equation. They haven't I told think us... I know what is y. Yeah, y is easy. Everyone should know what is y. Um, what you all think y is? Before we solve it, what you think y is? Seven. 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 Very good. Y must be seven. seven. Why must y be seven? Four plus three. Take away three. Because seven. you subtract in three. Very good. And then you end up with four. Your four is the answer. Yes. Okay, so I think of a number. Um, subtract three, and my result is and my result is um and my result is four. So write this down for me, please. So I think of a number, y, call it y. I subtract three and my result is four. Now the next part says, and I want Dion to read this. Read this for me, Dion. B, solve your equation to find our known number. Very good. Solve the equation to find the unknown number. So how are we going to solve this equation, Dion? What are we going to do? So we have y minus 3 equals 4. How are we going to solve this equation? Uh, it will carry y down and then um, add 4 plus 3. What are we going to do with the 3? Uh, you would put it on the other side. So it would turn good. into the, the negative sign. would turn into a plus sign. Very good. That's a very important step right there. We have a negative 3, right? And we send it over the equal sign. And so now that we send it over the equal sign, it becomes what? Plus three, right? Dion? That's all. Good. Now what is four plus three? Seven. Seven. And so that's how we solve our equation. Y is equal to seven. This is very, very, very important because a lot of persons, um, they just would put seven down and they wouldn't solve the equation. You have to solve the equation. And they wouldn't write even write down the equation properly. So let's recap. Um, Nevea, explain from top to bottom how we got our answer, starting from um a. Okay, so pardon, don't say. Okay. I mean, yes, sir. Sorry. So, um, um, you let y represent the unknown number, and uh -huh. you subtract. Yeah. Three, which gives you four. Yeah, that's this equation. So now, yeah, sir. And in order to solve your unknown, well, to find your unknown number, uh -huh. you rewrite y subtract three equals four. Uh -huh. Then you carry the three over uh -huh. to the side, uh -huh. and the negative sign turns into positive. Uh -huh. And then you carry over the four. You add those, you add three plus four together, and that gives you seven. Why so did y we, seven? Why did we change the sign? You change the sign. So you because in order to get seven, you had to plus you had to add four plus three. The reason why we change the sign is because if it's negative on this side. Once we send it over the equal sign, it will change sign. So if it was negative, it becomes positive. And if it was positive, it becomes negative. All right, so that's the idea there. All right. Um, I need, you understand that, Nevaeh? 
Yes. Okay, and uh, Natalia, can you explain how we got um, y is equal to seven? So you will carry a three over the equal sign, mm -hmm. and then you would when you carry the three over the equal sign, you would turn the negative three into a positive three. Mm -hmm. Then you would add them, and then y equals seven. Okay, y is equal to seven. Thank you. Um, Zara, Hannah, do you understand how we got y is equal to seven? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Shakina, call me. Where's Shakina? Shakina, where are you? I can't hear from Shakina. Stacy, do you understand how we got Y is equal to seven? Yes, sir. Okay, how about you, Shion? Yes, sir. Good. Chardonnay, you understand how we got Y is equal to seven? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Um, and Sabria, do you understand how we got Y is equal to seven? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay, can I move the slide? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. So please write this down again. Please write this down for me. Make sure you have this information written down. I'm gonna put this first slide inside the chat again. I'm gonna put this first slide inside the chat for your info for your benefit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I am going to um I'm going to Put the second example up. And for the second example, I want um Sabria, can you read the second example? Yes, sir. It says I think of a number, subtract 14, and my result is 15. Mm -hmm. Let y represent the unknown number. Mm -hmm. A, write an equation to represent the information. Very good. I want you all inside the chat to write an equation. Write the equation. I didn't say write the answer for y. Write an equation to represent the number. Again, write everyone inside the chat, please. Write an equation to represent this information. I think of a number, subtract 14, and my result is 15. Write an equation to represent this information. Put your hands inside the chat, please. Write an equation to represent this information. Excuse me, Mr. Patil. Go ahead. Can you use the bottom, please? Yes, you can. I think of a number. Let's call that number y. Um, I subtract 14 and my result is 15. Um, write an equation to represent this information. I need everyone to answer, please. Everyone to answer. Remember, it's a, it's not a capital Y, it's a small Y. Don't use a capital Y. It's a small Y. All right. Good. Everyone answering, please. Put your hands inside the chat. Write an equation to represent this information. Okay, now that you have your equation, um, Olivia, what did you have for your answer? You know what Y is. Olivia, what you what did you have for your answer? Four A. Where's Olivia? Olivia, are you there? I can't hear from Olivia. Um, Nevea, what did you have for your answer for, for um the equation? Y take away fourteen equals fifteen. Okay. And Michael, what did you have for your um equation? Um, y take away 14 equals 15. Very good. So that's the right answer. Y minus 14 equals 15. How many persons got that? 
Y minus 14 equals to 15. I got that. I got that. She I on? Know. Is she on the only I one who got that? that? Yes, was, sir. It, was, was there anyone else who got it? Y minus 14 equals to 15. Got anyone did. else who got that? Angel. All right. I need I need the per, other persons who got it to let me know. Anyone else? I did. Very good, Chai. I did. Dion. Very good. Okay, good. So now what I want you to do, um, I want you to solve your equation to find the unknown number. And then tell me in the chat what y equals. So put inside the chat what y equals. Solve your equation to find the unknown number and put inside the chat what you think y equals. All right, put inside the chat what y equals. Again, put inside the chat what y equals. Again, put inside the chat um, what y equals, please. Again, put inside the chat what y equals. All right. Okay, let's see what y'all have inside the chat. 29. Most persons are saying 29. 29. Why is he put the 29? All right. Okay. Why is he put the 29? I need um Matthew. Matthew, are you there? Where's Matthew? Hello, Matthew, are you there? I can't hear from Matthew. Um, Kevin, Kevin, are you there? That's Kevin. Yes, sir. Okay, explain how we got um how you got your answer. Explain how we gonna solve this equation. Okay, I got. I had the subtraction sign. I carried it over to fifteen with the fourteen. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Come on. I can't. I can't. Speak English. Okay. What are we gonna do? The first thing. Look at the equation and yeah, look at the subtraction sign. You carry the subtraction and the, the subtraction sign and the 14 over. And you carry the 14 the, over. Uh -huh. and, turn, and um, the sign will turn into a positive sign. We okay. make it 14 plus 15. Good. And then you add 15 plus 14, which is 29. Very good. So we send the 14 over the equal sign. Then we add 14 and 15 and 14 together, and that gives us what? 29. Anyone else got 29? Let me know if you are, if you also got, if you also yes, got 29. Okay, very good. Um, Kiyajane, yes. Kiyajane Pato. Yes, sir. Why are you answering me back in the chat with okay? Please correct it. Sorry, yes, sir. Um, but before you do that, explain explain how we got twenty nine. Yeah, I should explain how we got twenty nine. Where's Kiyajane? Um, I mm -hmm. Okay, so how we got twenty nine? Mm -hmm. 
first we had to write an equation to represent mm -hmm. the information, mm -hmm. which is y take away 14 equals 15. Okay. And we have to solve the equation mm -hmm. to find the unknown number, which mm -hmm. is y take away 14 equals 15. Mm -hmm. And then we had to um, change the subtraction into addition, which is y equals 15 plus 14. And 15 plus 14 is y equals 29. 29, thank you. All right. Um, please write this down. Again, please write this down. Um, Okay, Ma, do you understand how we got y is equal to 29? Yes, sir. Casey, do you understand how we got it? Yes, yes, sir. How about you, Jevin? Do you understand how we got y is equal to 29? Yes, sir. All right, good. And um, J Bears, where's J Bears? Yes, sir. Do you understand how we got y is equal to 29? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Um, Joseph, do you understand this? Yeah, so. Explain how we got a y is equal to 29. Okay, so you take um, the y, take away 14 equals 15 from the first one. Mm -hmm. Uh, You bring down the 15, then you add 14. Where did, did did we you you have to say send the fourteen over so to say yeah you send the fourteen over and then you say fifteen plus fourteen why turn um, it to positive I not sure about that you're not sure because if it was negative when you put it over the equal sign it becomes positive and if it was positive when you send it over the equal sign it would become what negative. Good. Okay, go on. Go on. Go on. Uh, and then after that, you say 15 plus 14 should be 29. Mm -hmm. And that's how we get 29. Very good. Um. Thank you. And Chai, do you understand this? Chai, do you understand this? Yes, sir. Um, Pri and Bri, do you all understand this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, and what's his name? Rashad, where's Rashad? Wait, yes, sir. Why didn't you come to class yesterday? So I was over my branch yesterday. Okay. Um let's move on to example three. When it's like that, Rashad, make sure message me and let me know. So I wouldn't wonder where you are. Yeah, so yeah, so. Okay, let's do this last one. It's example number three. Um, for example number three, um Bree, can you read this question please? Yes, sir. I think of a number, subtract 17, and my result is 25. Okay. Continue reading. Let Y represent the unknown number, A. Write an equation to represent the information. Good. So I need inside the chat for you all to write an equation to represent this. Everyone, please, I think of a number, subtract 17, and my result is 25. Write an equation to represent this information. I think of a number, subtract 17, my result is 25. Write an equation to represent this information. Put your hands inside the chat for me, please. Um, where's Dwayne? Dwayne Slew? Yes, sir. Where's the notes? Pardon me? 
where is the notes? Where is the notes? That you're supposed to send from yesterday. Hello? My mother's not home right now, so I can't send the notes. Did you write them down? Yes, sir. All right, do you, are you writing this down? Yes, sir. Do you understand how we got an answer? Yes, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so, okay, so if you understand them, it's what's going to be your answer for A. Write an equation to represent this information. What's going to be your answer? Dwayne, I think of a number, subtract. Yes, sir. What's going to be answer for A? I think of a number, subtract 70 in Maris, or to 25. What is, it says write an equation to represent this information. What's going to be the answer for the equation? Y take away 17 equals 25. Okay. Um, class, is he right? Hello, class, yes, is, he, is he correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Most persons have the same thing. Y minus 17 equals to 25. Um, go ahead, Bri. Can you read the second question? Solve your equation to find the unknown number. Very good. So I need you all inside the chat to solve your equation and put what Y is supposed to be equal to. Again, Solve your equation and put y, what y is supposed to be equal to. Do that inside the chat for me, please. What y is supposed to be equal to. Solve your equation and find um, what y is supposed to be equal to. It says solve your equation to find the unknown number. So put inside the chat what y is supposed to be equal to. I need everyone to do this, please. All right. Let me see what y'all have. 42, y is equal to 42, y is equal to 42. All right, very good. Just about everyone have the same thing. Um, Bri, I need you to explain how we got, um, not Bri, I'm sorry, Bri. Can you explain how we get um, 42? You do y plus 17 plus 25. And you add those up and you get 72. Say it again. What do, what do we do with the 17? What's the first thing we do? You add it with the 25. We send it over. All right. So say that yes. we send it over. Mm -hmm. Say the first step is that we send it over. And then add the 25 plus the 70, the 17. Okay. Good. And then add them up. Uh huh. And you get forty-two. Good. Why do we change it from a negative to a positive? Um, do you know why? No, sir. Okay, because if here if it was a negative, when you say when you send it over the equal sign, it becomes positive. And if it was positive, when you send it over the equal sign, it becomes a negative. You understand me? Bri, do you understand me? Yes, sir. Not Bri, Bri. Do you understand me? Where's Bri? Hello. Yes, sir. Do you understand how we got 42? Yes, sir. Okay, good. All right. 
take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, I need all three of the examples that I gave you so far. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Everyone, please, including Duane, would like to miss work. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Excuse me, Mr. Betty. Go ahead. My mother's on an important call right now. Can I send it to you when she's done? Yes, you can. Okay. All right, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. I need everyone to send their work, please. All three of the examples, all three. Mr. Petit. Go ahead. Could you send the first two in the chat? Yes, I can. Again, take a picture of all of your notes and send them to me via WhatsApp. Make sure it's neatly written. Make sure they are neatly written. You can take a take a screenshot of your work and send to me via WhatsApp. All of your notes, please, including um the including the very first one. Again, take a picture of your work and send to me via WhatsApp. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. All right, are y'all ready for the quiz now? Yes, sir. Okay, anyone yes. else? You ready? All right, so I'm gonna put the quiz inside the chat. Once you've started the quiz, please put started inside the chat again. Once you've started the quiz, please put started inside the chat. Um, The quiz is in there. Yes, I'll do that. Once the quiz is inside the chat, please do the quiz once you finish with your notes again. Please do the quiz once you finish with your notes. Um, where's Lavar? Where's Lavar? Lavar Brown, are you there? Can't really have some Lavar. Lavar Brown, are you there? Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp and then do the quiz. Remember that um, you need to make sure that you get, you need to make sure that you get um, uh, eight and uh, an eighty and above. It's over fifteen, so that means that the lowest you can get is twelve. If you get anything lower than twelve, you have to do it again. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Once you're done with that, then you can begin the quiz. Now, for the quiz, you need to make sure that you get. Um, you need to make sure that you get anything above twelve. Twelve and above. Okay, 12 and above, because if you get anything lower than 12, 
then that means that you have to do it again. Again, once you finish with the quiz, please put started inside the chat. And once you're done with the quiz, take a screenshot of your grade and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, once you're done with the quiz, take a screenshot of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, where is uh? Again, once you finish with the work, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Okay, very good. Wow. Very good, Clement, Dion, and Nevea. Y'all finished already. 15 out of 15. Wow. Very good. And Stacy Pinder and Sabria Rule. Very good. Everyone so far, I got 15 out of 15. All right. Um. Also, wow. I've never seen that. And Michael, very good. 15 out of 15. Um. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp once you finish with the quiz. Again, once you finish with the quiz, take a screenshot of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Sarah Hanna, very good. 15 out of 15. Angel, very good, 15 out of 15. Bethany, come on, you can't get 13 now. Come on, Bethany. Bri, 15 out of 15, very good. Rashid, 15 out of 15, very good. Kept Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Where's Chardonnay? Yeah, so. Now you know you weren't supposed to be getting over 13. Um. I, I really can't explain this one. <laughs> I know you can't explain it. You can't be getting no 13. Do it again. Yeah, so. No, there's no way you're supposed to be getting no 13 or 15. Not about this. Kevin, very good. Jevin, it's impossible for you to be getting 5 out of 15. I don't understand that. Very good, Maranik. Very good, Olivia. Very good, Bri. Very good, Ajani. Ajani, um, Jevin, please redo your quiz. Um, Sabria, thank you for being so helpful. Um, very good, Chai. Yes, sir. I'm still waiting on Joseph to... Still waiting on Joseph. Where's Joseph? Where's Joseph? Joseph, are you there? Very good, Aaliyah. Where's Joseph? Joseph, are you there? Yes, sir. Um, what are you doing? Yeah, I almost finished. Okay, KVAD Presenti. KVAD Presenti, what are you working on? I'm going on the on the phone right now. Okay. Very good, Bethany. Um, very good, Matthew. Kmar, where's Kmar? Yes, sir. Why haven't you done the quiz yet? I finished, yes, sir. What number are you on? Number five. Okay, very good, Casey. Very good, Gion. Very good, Chardonnay. 15 out of 15. 
आम की आज नहीं वैस की आज नहीं ओके I mean, write down your notes in a book. Yes, sir. Okay, now let me ask you a question. What number are you on on the quiz? Number two. Number two. Okay. And very good, Joseph. Um, Rashad, where's Rashad? Yes, sir. Where's my notes and where's the where's the quiz quiz grade? What are you doing? With the I almost finished the notes. All right. You can't be taking forever write down these notes, you know, because we are moving. This is a, this is a movement. You can't be taking too long because if you take that long, and then now you could be behind on the on on the on the quiz as well. So you can't be taking your own slow time. You understand me, Rashad? Yes, sir. Come on, pick up the pace. Very good, Jevin. Very good, Kemar. And um, Shekinah, where's Shekinah? Yes, sir. You need to do your um quiz. Um, for Sean Turnquest, what are you working on? Time problems. Is it again? Time problems. Time the one off. Okay. Sure. Okay. So far, how was the um work? You've been comparing them with the uh, the solutions I gave you, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, where's Alia? Alia store. Yes, sir. You finished with all of the problems. Yes, sir. Okay. I need you to do all of the paper one. Um. Last papers in your book. Yes, sir. Good. So I could mark them on on um on Sunday when we come. Um, where is uh Evanese? Evanese, where's Evanese? Evanes, Joseph, are you there? There she is. Evanes, are you there? I'm here, sir. Sorry. Um, you've been missing an action a lot. If you keep that up, you can't pass your exam, you know. And there's no way I could help you. You have to be here. You understand me? Give me one moment. I'm talking to Evanese. You understand me, Evanese? Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. I said you've been missing an action a lot. Oh. Yeah. And I said if you keep it up, there's no way that you could pass your exam like that. All right. What are you working on right now? Um, Say it again. Angles. Angles? Which one that is? That's um uh so what what was before that? Solving equations? Yes, sir. Okay, but you didn't send me that yet. So I, I need you I need you to send me what you finish, all right? Before you move on to the next one. And sound me at Yes, sir. Um, is there anything on angles that you don't understand based on what I give you?
Hello, Evanese. Yeah, there was some things I didn't understand. For angles or so or solving equations. Angles. Angles. Okay. All right. Make a note of them so we can go over them. All right. Oh, by the way, did you look at the solutions or the solutions still need didn't help? Um, yes, I did. They still didn't help. Okay. All right, then. But we got to go over them then. But just do the ones that you can so we can um, eliminate those and then the ones you can do, then I'll help you with them. I guess so. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Go ahead. Can I use the one, please? Yes, we can. Thank you. All right. Okay, so let's continue to the next section. Um, I think most of us are pretty solid on that other section, so that's good. Um, section number, we call it session number two. Oh my, session number two, this is a tough one. Um, what is gonna be interesting? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do this one yet. Um. Oh, we have to do it. Let me see. It'll be something different. It will be something different. And we need something different anyway in this class. So yeah, let's do it. So section number two. This is gonna be very interesting. Very interesting. Um, let's go. Section number two is going to be. Um, estimating angles. So let's go ahead and look at it. So, oh, by the way, let me move all these red stuff. Give me one moment. So we're gonna need a lot of practice with this one. This one is not trivial, but I believe that y'all will be able to understand it once we get enough um reps in, once we get enough um once we get enough examples in, we should be able to understand what it is. Um yeah, this is a lot of examples I have for this one because it it, it is that that deep. So let's go. Section two. Section two is um estimating angles estimating angles all right so i want um Bri, Bri, can you read this question for me please oh by the way please write this down again please write this down go ahead um Bri. look at the angle below estimate the angle's possible size very good. Estimate the angle's possible size. So we have this angle, right? And I want you to estimate the possible size of this angle. Now, put inside the chat. What do you think it is? Do you think it's zero degrees? Do you think it's 25? Do you think it's 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95? Or do you think it's 18, 28, 42, 38, 64, um, 29, 90? 72. Put inside the chat what you think it is. So you think it's 71, 81, you know, 91, 94, 96, or 63, or 108. What do you think is the possible size of this of this angle? I'm put your hands inside the chat for me, please. Again, what do you think is the possible size? So you have to estimate it. And what do you think is going to be the possible size of this of this angle right now? All right.
what is the possible size of it? Go ahead. What is the exam? Is it again? What is the exam? The exam for what? Oh, you mean exam for our classes? You mean, you mean the exam for my classes? Yes, sir. No, no, no. I don't have exams. Only thing I have is, um, I might give you a mock exam, but that mock exam isn't until, um, Remember, I'm here to help you for the PJC and PJCIC, you know, so um, for you, you didn't do doing the PJC, so I'm here to help you with that. Your exam isn't until May or June of next year, um, but I'll have to give you a mock before that, so probably next year, April, yeah. All right, so let me see what you all have inside the chat. Uh, what do we see? 45 and 90. Olivia, 90? Where's Olivia? Where's Olivia? Where's I'm right in the Philippines. How is this a 90 degree no, angle? When I, press it, when I press 90, then I decide to take it back because it's too late. So what do you think it is? No, I'm not sure. You say estimate, so maybe estimate. 45. Maybe 45? Why not 60? Yeah. When you're quiet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So, so let's um let's let's put a protractor on this thing. So if we look at the protractor, notice how we're gonna read this protractor because some persons just read this protractor wrong. We're gonna start if we are on the right, then we go on the inside. If we are on the left, then we go on the outside. So right, inside, left, outside, right inside left outside so if we on the right side so we're going to go right inside numbers right so it's going to be zero come with me zero then what ten then ten <laughs> then after that is what twenty twenty then after that is what thirty thirty and then after that is what forty forty and then in between that is going to be what forty five forty five very good so the answer for this one is forty five degrees only right. two of us are correct. 45 degrees. Who all got that right? Clement and Kvet. Good. And Bethany. All right. So the angle is 45 degrees. Please put this inside your book, please. Is there anyone who need me to go over this? Who need me to explain it again? Anyone who need me to explain it again? How we got 45? Yes, yeah. Mr. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I put a protractor on this thing and we have to look at the numbers on the inside. So this is zero, then this is ten, then this is twenty, then this is thirty, this is forty, and in between forty and fifty is gonna be what? Right in the middle, that's gonna be what? Forty five. Forty five because of the slill strokes? Yeah, because if you count them, if you like, if we were to count them, this is 40, 41, yeah, 42, one, 43, 42, 44, 45. Okay. 45. So it's 45 yes, sir, degrees. You. Yeah. This is how you read a protractor. Um, Zara, do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. How about you, Willan? Do you understand? How we got 45 degrees? Yes, sir. Okay. And Stacy, do you understand? Or oh, we need me to explain it again. Yes, sir. Um, Sabria, do you understand? Yes, sir. How about you, Rashad? Do you get it? Rashad? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, good. And Olivia, do you understand how we got it? Um, yes, sir. But when you said estimate, so that means I was supposed to use the tractor. Now, in the exam, they said estimate, right? So mm -hmm. really and truly, you're not supposed to use the protractor. You're supposed to be able to eyeball it, right? Um, But I don't know if you all are good enough yet to really eyeball it like that. 
So I would suggest, even though they say in the exam estimate, still put a protractor on it so you could know um, as a general rule what you're looking at. Because you don't want to say 60 or 50 when it's actually 45. So yes, I, I would still say put a protractor on it, even though they say estimate. Still put a protractor on that to make sure your estimate is on point, right? Um, okay, so we can move on to the next question, right? Do you all have this down? Do you all have this written down? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Good. Okay, so let's move on to question number, or example number two. All right, put inside the chat, what is the possible angle, All right? Is it 100? Is it 102? Is it 103? Is it 110? Is it 99? Is it 60? Is it 50? Is it 40? Is it 90? Maybe it's 180. How about 130? How about 109? How about 110? How about 111? Maybe 115. Put inside you put inside the chat, or maybe 205. Or 360. I don't know. What do you think is the um appropriate estimate for this angled size? Put inside the chat, please. What do you think is the um possible angled size? Okay, put it put your hands inside the chat for me, please. Um what do you think is this angled size. Put your hands inside the chat for me. What do you think is the this angled size? Put your hands inside the chat for me. Um Rashad, what do you think it is? Either thinking right now. Either. You're thinking. That's all. How about you, um, Olivia? I'm not sure. I'm clueless. You're clueless. That's all. All right. Yes, all right. sir. <laughs> Nevaeh, what do you think it is? Um, I just guess and put one fifty five degrees. One fifty five. Just guess one fifty five. Michael, what do you think it is? Mister Petit, I know. And you was the one who was saying, Mister Mommy, my my Mister Petit class easy man. <laughs> so episode bad. This one a little difficulty. Mr. Petit, yeah. I don't know my, my thing I'm doing good, but it have a 155. Double at 155? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, so let's see. Let's put a protractor on this. Okay, so remember what I said. If it's to the right, you go inside. If it's to the left, you count on the outside. So here, well, this one is upside down, so it's going to be backwards. So... We have to start here, and so we have to start at zero. So this is the base. This is the vertex of it. So we starting on the outside. So this is zero, ten. Come with me. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. We reach yet? Have we arrived yet? No, sir. No, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. We reach yet? No. No, 130, 140, 150, 100 and what? 55. 155. Very good. Whoever said 155 was spot on. Very good, 155 
degrees, right? Whoa, a lot of people said 155. How did you all know that? We Man. used the protractor. Oh, you use the protractor. Mind of guessing. Mind of guessing. Wow, y'all are really good at the Natalia. Natalia, you just put what Sabria put. I don't believe that. No, sir. No, you just put what Sabria put. <laughs> no, I did not. I use a project a project. Uh, what? A See, you don't even know. What <laughs> don't even know what it is. Chardonnay, how you get one fifty five? The protractor. You put the protractor on the screen, literally. Yes, yeah, so I was breaking <laughs> all my neck. <laughs> and Nevea, how did you get it? The mind of guessing. The mind of guessing. Wow, that's a pretty good guess. I didn't think I would have get that if I didn't use a protractor. You use a protractor. Yes, sir. I wouldn't think wow. I would have get that, and I, I surprised I get it because I yeah. don't use position. Yeah the right way yeah you get it you're learning all right good so the rest of you i need you all to if you have a protractor you could use it on the screen if you do if you have a protractor you could use it on the screen to get the right answer all right um that's the trick or you can be like nevea and the mind of guessing i like that all right please write this down properly so remember, be careful. If it's the opposite way, then even though it's the right, we still use the top of the top numbers, right? And then you have to make sense of it. Like if you're starting, obviously you can't start at 180. That don't make no sense. You have to start your base, whatever your base is, wherever your base is, the base of your um the base of your angle, wherever that is, that's gotta be at zero. All right. So use the outer numbers, all right? All right, and and you can't say that this big angle here is 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 um thirty five. That's just like too small. So it has to be one hundred and fifty five. All right, so are we ready for the next one? Yes, sir. I don't think nobody's gonna get the next one. I don't think nobody's gonna get it. Sure. But, yeah, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure about that. All right, but let's see. Maybe y'all could surprise me. Um, let's go. Next, are y'all ready for this, or, or are y'all still working on this slide? I'm ready for. You ready? Okay, good. And example number three. All right, look at the picture below and calculate the angle's possible size. Okay. Um, put your hands inside the chart for me, please. Look at the angle below and estimate the angle's possible size. Put your hands inside the chart for me, please. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Go ahead. I have to eat dinner. Can I go there and come back? Yes, you can. Thank you. All right, put inside the chat um, what you think the possible angle size is going to be. Again, put your hands inside the chat for me, please. Mm -hmm. 
I need everyone to answer. Again, put your answer inside the chat for me. Um, Matthew, where's Matthew? Matthew, is your mic working? Where's Matthew? All right. Okay. What do you think the angle is? I don't see you answering. I only see Rashad, Bree, Bethany, Sabria, Shadney, and Olivia answering. The rest of you, why are you not answering? Natalia, where's the answer? Lavar, where's the answer? Kevin, Casey, Dwayne, Jabez, Dion. I try to position my. Um, Where's you know, Clemont? Clemont, where are you? And he's supposed to be the genius. Where's Clemont? I already answered in the chat. You ready, did? What you put? 320 degrees. Where you is? I don't see your answer. I don't see your answer. Yeah. Write it again. Write it again. All right. Um, okay, so let's do it. So first, let's measure it, right? So let's measure. So we're going to take our, our um, angle and measure it. So this is going to be what? Zero. It's going to be, come with me. Zero, then what? Ten. Then ten. This fake, eh? What? What's 20. fake? I thought the thing was going to say 60. No, it is. It is. <laughs> Zero. 10. That's why I'm trying to position 20. it in the right way. Then 20. <laughs> then 20. Then 40. 20. Right? So we know, this is very important, we know that this side, right? Make sure I position it properly. That's a very good point. We know that this side measures how much? How much does this side measure based on our calculation? 40 degrees. 40 degrees. All right, good. But I didn't ask you for this side. I asked you for this side, the one behind it. So if you know that that side is 40, then what's gonna be this side? 320. How you got 320? 180. 180. Can't be 180. What, what is one revolution? What is one complete um full circle? What do we say? Degrees, so I subtracted 360 minus 40, and I got my answer. Very good. So, and so correct. So, 300, 360 minus 40 is going to be what? 320. That's, that's how we get it. Already. So, you have to minus it from 40. So, that's the trick. So, you have to take <laughs> it away because you already know that this is 40, right? You know that that's 40, and you know the whole thing all to get is. 360. So you have to subtract 40 from 360 to get 320. All right. And so that's how we get 320 there. So that's, that's, a, that's a wicked trick. Uh, that's not a wicked trick. <laughs> I'm the only one who figured it out. Mr. Petit. Uh huh. This circle around it shows that it is 360 degrees. Remember, remember, we know. Remember, I told you one revolution, one complete turn is 360. So what that means is that what that means is that this is 320 and that's 40 because it's one it's one complete circle if you really look at it. Like it's one circle. It's one complete turn. All the way. If we finish it, it's all the way. It's one complete turn. All right. So let me use a different color. Let me use like a say like a a green or something. So all of this right here is one complete turn. Mm -hmm. And so one complete turn is supposed to add up to what? 360 degrees. The full thing. All right. So if we already know that this part is 40, then that means that this part must be 40 minus 360, which is going to be 320. All right. And so that's how we get it. Any questions? Let me explain it again. So let's use a different color. 
So this part in purple is what I was asking you for. This part. Okay, this is what I was asking you for. And that is actually what, how many degrees is this? 40. Degrees? No, the, this one. Which this, one? This one in purple. You have the whole thing in purple. No, I don't have the whole thing in purple. I just have the, the, the yes, 320. And then the one in red, let me put this one in red. This one in red right now. That's how much, how many degrees is this? How many degrees is this? That's 40 degrees. This is 40, yeah. And then together they form a circle, which is 360 degrees. Okay. Man, I'm too good at this. All right, so. Shut we... up. Who cares? No one asks. Um, Jevin. Jevin. Yes, sir. You can't be serious, Ian. You cannot be serious. You have to apologize to them. You can't be telling people shut up like that. Sorry. Apology accepted. All right, let's move on to the next one. Are we done with the slide? Yes. Yes. Sir. All right, let's move on. Let me put this um slide inside the chat. Um Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so put an estimate of the angle inside the chart. Again, put the estimate of the angle inside the chart. What do you think this one is going to be? Again, put the estimate of this. Make sure I write this inside of your books because I'm going to ask you for the notes very soon. So put this inside your book. Make sure I put... All of these examples, I'm on example four, so I need to see all of the examples in your book when I ask you for them. All right, again. All right, put, your, put what you think it is inside the chat. Again, put what you think it is inside the chat. Again, put your put your, put what you think the estimation of the angle is gonna be. Excuse me, Mr. Go ahead. So my answers might be wrong because I'm using my clock as a protractor. Your clock, interesting. Why don't you where's your where's your protractor? It broke. Yeah, you need to get a protractor, an actual protractor.
All right. I see inside the chat 55, 60, 80, 55, 65, 60, 80, 65, 80, 65 to 60, 60 to 65. All right. Um, where is um, where's Joseph? Joseph, why are you not answering in the chat? Where's Joseph? Joseph, are you there? Yes, sir. Why are you not answering? Uh, I, I was about to type. Yo, what? I was about to type something. Yo, what? Wait, what is this thing inside the chat that I see? What, do, um, Rashad? What do you mean by never be? What does that mean? Where's Rashad? Is Asia? What does that mean? What does never be mean? Please remove that. I never asked for never be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so Olivia, fifty-five. Okay, sixty. Oh, Johnny, why are you not answering? Where's the Johnny? Hello, Johnny, are you there? I still use my protractor. Okay, and Angel, why are you not answering, Angel? Yes, sir. Yes, why are you not answering in the chat? I did answer in the chat. Did? What you, what you said? 55. Five. I don't see an answer. Um, send it again. Uh, how yes, about sir. you? Um, Dion, where's Dion? Where's your answer, Dion? Matthew says sixty. Dion. I'm having some I'm still trying to work it out. Still trying to work it out. Okay, good. Um, Jay Bears, where's your answer? Yes, sir. Yes, Jabez, where's the answer? I don't have it. Well, try to estimate it. Okay. Pardon? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Try to estimate it. And Shekinah, where's Shekinah? Yes, sir. I don't see your answer inside the chat. All right, so we have Jabez says 50, Dion says 55, Bree says, Bree says 55, Marty says 60, Bri says 55. Okay, let's put a protractor under it. And let's measure. So let's count. Um, we have zero then 10, then 20, then 30, then 40, then 50, then what? 55. So the correct answer here is going to be 55, 55 degrees. That sounds up. Anyone, anyone else got that? 55. Anyone else got that? 55? Yes, sir. Okay. Good. So it's going to be 55. So the key is, now it might not be exact because your, your, um, the picture is enlarged and you're using a very small protractor. But when you are in the exam, you make sure you use a protractor to, you know, to, um, to match it up. All right. So the answer for this one is 55. Let's do another one. Let's do two more. All right, this next one. Look at the angle below. Estimate the angle's possible size. All right. So put your answers out the chat for me, please. What do you think the possible size of this angle is going to be? Again, put your inside the chat. What do you think the possible chart size of this is going to be?
All right, which all answer is inside the chat. Again, put your hands inside the chat. Estimate the possible size of this angle. All right, let me switch all up inside the chat. We have 135, 130, 140, 130, 130, 130, 130, 130, 135, 140, 130, 130, 145, 180. 180, Vitalia, 180? Sure about that? 180, 180, 180. Mr. I changed my answer. All right, let's see. So let's measure it. Um, zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. Very good. So if you had 130, then you are correct. Do I put the answer? 130. Do I have it out somewhere? Yep. Yeah. 130 degrees. All right. So that's 130 degrees. Remember for this one, you have to fix the protractor in an interesting way and then measure it out to be 130 degrees. Excuse me, Mr. PC. Go ahead. Can I use the bathroom, please? Yes, we can. All right. All right, so let's do another one. This is probably gonna be our last one before we move on. And this one. Put your hands inside the chat, please. What you think is gonna wait? Let me um put this inside the chat before I go. All right, good. What do you think is going to be the um I think it's gonna be the should I say the possible size of this angle? Put your hands inside the chat for me, please. 
Again, what do you think is going to be the possible size of this angle? Again, put your hands inside the chat for me, please. What is the possible size of this angle? Again, put your hands inside the chat for me. Again, put your hands inside the chat for me, please. What do you think is going to be the possible size of this angle? Put inside the chat for me, please. Put inside the chat, please. What is the possible size of that angle? Again, take a picture of your work and send to me via WhatsApp. No, not yet, not yet. I need you to put your hands inside the chat. That's what I mean. Put your hands inside the chat for me, please. What do you think it is? Um, Bethany. It's Bethany. Why did you put 35? Remember, remember we say we have to do? Yes, yes. All right, put your hands inside the chat for me, please. Put your hands inside the chat for me, please. What do you think the answer is going to be? Um, I don't want to take too much time because it's almost that time to move on to English. I'm going to wait for a few of you all to get it. So Aliyah says 325. Um, Shabria says 325. Nevea says 330. Olivia says 325. Chai says 325. Michael says 330. Shadney says 325. Still waiting on the rest of you. So let's measure it out. We know that the inside of this thing is 0, 10, 20, 30, and 35. So 35 is going to be the inside. And so that means that what we're going to do to get the outside, we're going to minus what? 35 and 360 to get 325. So that's how we're going to get that like, for that one. All right. So that's how we're going to do it. So again, we start at zero. Then we go to 10, then 20, then 30, then 35. And so we minus 360 and, th and 35, we get 325. Okay. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Yes, sir. Very good. Um, I need you all to take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp again. Take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, need you to do that right now. Take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, I'm also going to give you all a quiz based on what we just did. So take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. And also I'm going to put inside the chat a quiz for us to do based on um, estimating angles. So
So let me put the let me put the quiz inside the chat for you. Once you start the quiz, please put start it inside the chat again. Once you start the quiz, please put start it inside the chat. I also need you all to take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Once you have started the quiz, please put start it inside the chat. This is quiz number two. Is it the teacher send it to my WhatsApp link? Yes, I will. Let me do that. Let me take it. Let me um send it to your WhatsApp. All right. Once you've started the quiz, please put started inside the chat. Again, once you've started the quiz, please put started inside the chat. Um, I also need you to take a screenshot, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. And once you finish with your grade, once you finish with your work, then I need you to, um, I need you to take a screenshot of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. So finish writing all of your notes, right? And then once you finish writing your notes, then I need you to take a picture of your notes, then go do the quiz. Once you finish with the quiz, I need you to take a screenshot of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Excuse me, Mr. Go ahead. Can you send the slides in the chat, please? Yes, I can. Thank you. This is um what's her name? Uh what's her name? Um can't remember name. This is for Okay, Kvet. Kvet, you need the notes? Yvette Presenti, is that you need the notes? Yes, sir. Okay, good. All right, I need you all to take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Also, if you're finished with your work, if you're finished with the quiz, I need you to take a screenshot of your grade and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, Nevea, how, 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 Nevea, how? I'm doing it over the, like, I was just doing everything wrong. I'm doing it over right now. Then do it again. What happened to the mind of the guessing or something that you're saying? <laughs> okay, with all these examples and how everything was looking, it just kind of weared off, so. Oh, okay, okay. It weared off. It weared off. Kevin, there's no way you're getting for the 15. Come on, Kevin, look at the angles properly. Mm -hmm. 
It's just guessing. You have to use your protractor. She on? Mm -mm. Nope. Not good. Um, Kiyajane, where's the notes? I'm sending it to you right now. Okay, Ajani, where's the notes? I'm going to send them. Ajani, you haven't sent, you haven't sent in any notes. None whatsoever. You need to send them notes, Ajani. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Don't fool, man. Go ahead. Um, uh, what's his name? Akiro. Akiro. Where's Akiro? So. Where's your notes? I just not came from Drock brought this and I don't have anything. I don't have anything on you. What do you mean you don't have anything on you? Where are you? I get my ground. So when you coming home? Uh my mommy coming from church eight o'clock, so when she come, uh I'll send them to you. Did you do the quizzes? I ain't doing them now, so oh. okay. Make sure to do your quizzes. And when you reach home, take all the pictures. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir, I'm Clement. Can you spell slide four and five for section two? Why am I sending you slides? Because my tablet died and the chat is not loading any more messages. You know what I'm saying? Why am I sending you slides? And you were here? What you been doing? My tablet died. Anyway, it doesn't make sense to talk to you because you ain't making it. They wait inside the chat. Thank you. Um, Angel, where's the notes? Angel, where's the notes? Um, I'm going to send them right now. And so I am. Um, um Nave, you need to do better than that. Lavar Brown. Yes, sir. Did you do the quizzes? I started it now. How many quizzes have you done so far? One or two? Mm. 
one or two, one or two, one or two. This is your first one? Yes, sir. Um, I actually gave two quizzes. Let me send you the other one. There are two quizzes. You did you didn't do the first one. Um, Shekina, where's Shekina? Shekina. Shekina. Yeah, once you finish with the with the once you finish with the quiz, take a screenshot of your grade and send it to me via WhatsApp. But yeah, once you finish with your grade, with your own work, take a screenshot of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um very good um Angel, Zara, Zara, Shion, Bet, um uh, Aaliyah. Um, I'm still waiting for where's Chardonnay? Chardonnay, why are you taking so long with your quiz? And and uh, who else? I'm trying to make sure all of these right. And Sabria, where's your um where's your work? Very good, Olivia. And Sabria, where's your work? I'm sending him right now. Um, Rashad, where's your work? Sivadit, may your mind and yes, it was fine. Send the work yet. Your daddy? Yes, sir. Okay. Have you done the quiz? I do the first quiz. Are you on the second one now? Attempting the second one. What number are you on? First one. Okay, Dwayne, where's Dwayne? Dwayne Slow? Where's Dwayne? Yes, sir. Where's your work? I haven't sent them yet. Why? Why haven't you sent them, Dwayne? I can't find my mom's phone. Where's your mommy? Is she there? Yes, sir. She's in the bathroom. Well, you need to ask her for a phone. Yes, sir. I was always trying to find some lie, man. Every single night. Huh? 
ทำแล้วก็เยอะสิ Why don't you consider me at eight out of fifteen? Do you think I care about the eight out of fifteen? Think I care about that? No, no, sir. The answer is no. I don't. So please redo the quiz, please. But eight out of fifteen. That's not even a pass. All right. We're going to transition over to English That's language. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I want to stop off for a sec. Okay, sure. Um, Brasho and Tanquest, what are you doing? Where's Brasho? I'm here. What are you doing? Still on time and. Distance. Why is it taking you so long? Are you sure you're doing my work or are you doing something else? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm just trying to understand the topic. So why is it taking you so uh, long? I said I'm trying to understand the topic. So you don't understand it? I I I know it, but I just trying to remember. Yes. Okay. Does my solutions help? Yes, sir. So it's taking you so long. Understanding how you got your solution. So. You sure you're not watching anything in the background or playing game? No, sir. I don't believe you. All right. Um. Okay, let's transition over to um social studies, not social studies. English language. Um, so let's go. Uh, it's currently seven fifty nine. So, um, let's begin with English. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday, the sixth of December, twenty twenty three. The subject is, of course, um, English language. Write this down for me, please. And the topic that we'll be doing would be um, expository, expository essay, expository essay. Now, when we look at expository essay. Um, we dealt we dealt with what kind of essays so far. We dealt with, um, yeah, last class we dealt with what type of essay? Descriptive. Descriptive, and then we also looked at persuasive are, and narrative. We look at persuasive essays, right. and then we look at yeah. narrative essays, right? Um, what is the job of a narrative essay? The job of a narrative essay. To tell a story. To tell a story. Very good. What's the job of a persuasive essay? To persuade you into agreeing or disagreeing with something. Very good. What's the job of a of a descriptive essay? Describing what's going on, what you see or hear within Very the good. story. Very good. It's it's, it's a a uh, piece that's uh, describing in great detail an event or a person or or an action. And number four is the expository essay. So narrative essay tells a story. Persuasive essays convinces um, and descriptive essays describe. So what does expository, expository essays do? What do they do? What's their function? They like tell something like about like a specific topic, basically, like different facts about a main topic, something like that. What? Um, help me understand, please. Okay, Anyone? So, 
Go ahead. Sorry. I mean, yes, so. So basically what I mean is like when let's say you have it's you basically writing about a specific topic is and then in that specific topic you are like you are you are exploring like diff, diff, various different um like point of view is from of that topic interesting anyone else want to help her What do we mean by expository essay? To explain. Say it again. To explain. Who said that? I'm sorry. Yes, very good. Exposit expository essays explain. So narrative essay tells a story. Persuasive essays convinces. Descriptive essays describes. But expository essays explain so that's basically you know the idea of it so let's that's um let's write that down narrative essay uh, i think it's double r narrative essays um tell a story. Uh, persuasive essays spell that wrong. Persuasive essays they seeks to convince um, descriptive essays describes in great detail, but expository essays seeks to explain. So when we look at the word expository, right, a word that, um, that word expository is derived from another word, and the word that it's derived from is expose, right? So what do we mean by expose? If, I, if you're exposing something, what are we doing? So when you threw? Sue so said that. Kiajane. Kiajane, very good. Showing the truth, very good. That's exactly what it is. So expository essay exposed, it illuminates, it brings light to a subject, right? So expository, expository essays. So at its core, and maybe I should skip a line for this. At its core, expository essays. Or they could say unexplored score an expository essay um is a genre a genre of writing that seeks to inform Explain illuminate a topic and provide a deep understanding of a subject matter. So the purpose of an expository essay is to 
basically prevent, present facts. What are the facts, right? What, and to explain and, uh, you know, basically, you know, help you to understand in, in, in better detail, like what's going on based on whatever topic that's given, right? So it's there, it's there to give you a deeper understanding of a topic or process. So whether that whether that whether that's uh, whether that is um exploring the intricacies of a historical event, um whether that is explaining, you know, the mechanics of say a scientific phenomenon, um so you can use um expository essays to explore the intricacies of a historical event. You could use it to explain the mechanics of a scientific phenomenon. You could use it to um, you could use it to dissect. If you want to dissect um, the components of something that someone wrote, so if you want to dissect uh, the components of a literary piece, um, you have to use expository um, essays. So they equip the readers with um, knowledge and insight. So they are they they are very good as educational tools. So these essays are very good, or we could say these essays serve um, as ex educational tools. Making complex subjects. accessible and fostering a sense of what? A sense of clarity for the audience. So if you want to make something clear, that's why the, the purpose of an expository essay is to explain, right? To explain, to make something clear, right? That wasn't clear before. Right? That's the, it's, it, it adds clarity. Right, it's there to present clarity. Now, if you if you are trying to present clarity, right, you're trying to you know help someone to understand something and trying to present clarity, you must know, you must know about the to the topic as well. So, if you and you must be competent in whatever you're talking about, you may have gained that competency by experience. You may have gained that competency by reading or researching. But whatever you are talking about, you must know what you're talking about, right? Because you're trying to help other people to understand what you're talking about. So you must know what you're talking about. All right. So definitely key components of exploratory essays would definitely be clarity and conciseness. Now, what do we mean by clarity? What does clarity mean? So let's look at key characteristics of expository essays. So what do we mean by clarity? Anyone? What do we mean by clarity? Hello? What is meant by clarity? Can you all hear me? I'm going to take it in. Yes, sir. Okay, good. So what do we mean by clarity? Like a backup for what you are saying? Back up, no. Clarity. Huh? Say like, um, huh? Fox, no. Clarity. What does we mean by clarity? Clarifying a statement. A deeper understanding. Clarifying a statement, a deeper understanding. So one of the key components or key characteristics of expository essays is you need to be clear, right? That's what clarity means. Clarity basically means do I understand what you're saying? Are you clear in what you're saying? And so you cannot be vague. So you, have, you must be clear and you must also be concise. What does concise mean? What does concise mean? Clarity and conciseness. What does concise mean? What does it mean to be concise? Consistent, no. Not consistent, no. Concise. Straight to the point? Straight to the point. Very good. You're brief. Right, so you're not going all around the world, around the world in 360 days just to make a simple point. So you want to be clear and you want to be concise. It's like if you try and explain something to somebody, 
you're not going to carry them around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world, and then come to your point. You're taking too long to get to the point. You need to be clear and concise. So expository essays. And you're not trying to be poetic at all. Like you ain't trying to be, I'm going to be talking about descriptive. We tried to be poetic. We tried to use figurative language. None of that. We don't use them stuff in expository essays. No figurative language, no similes, none of those stuff. Like unless it really would help them to understand. But as a general rule, we try to use language that is clear. We try to, we don't, we don't try to be figurative. We don't try to be, you know, nuance and double meaning. No, we just try to be standard English. This is what it is. This is how we explain it. So expository essays, you typically are formal writing, not informal, because that's just the style and that's just the framework that we're working under. So expository essays prioritize clarity of expression and conciseness in conveying information. So you gotta be straightforward. So writers in when you when we're talking about writers in expository writing, they are they try to, you know, these writers, um, they try to aim for, um, they try to be straightforward. So they try to aim for, you know, trying to say it in the best, in the, in the, in the way that is most clear. So they try to present complex ideas in a straightforward manner and avoiding any unnecessary, like, um, embellishment and we try to the writers in expository essays try to you know maintain a focus a focus to key aspects of the topic so we're not running around the world and you know giving unnecessary things we try to be clear and concise and the next one is objective tone so when you are trying to when you're writing an um, expository essay you try not to use I think. You try not to use I and me and my, I feel, I hope. No, no, you're not using those stuff. In fact, you don't even use the word I and in, 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 you don't use that. You don't use I in writing expository essays. You try to write it in a third person. So you cut yourself out because you're basically saying this is the information. This is the presentation, the facts, this is how it goes. So you try not to use I or we or my or or another stuff. You try to write it in the third person and your objective. So that means that you ain't picking no sides. You just state in the facts as it is, whether you whether that's your whether that's your belief or not, you state the facts. You state the truth. That's the the thing. So unlike persuasive essays that attempt To well, let me not, let me not start it like that. Let me start it like by saying um, the emphasis. I think that's a better way. The emphasis is on providing information without expressing personal opinions. or attempting to sway the reader, the reader's um, perspective. So this is not a, a persuasive essay. You're not trying to convince someone of, of something. And you're not even presenting your own personal opinions on the matter. Or you're, like, you're, not, you're not telling them, oh, and by the way, I believe this. You don't say, I believe. And I think, and no, 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 you just state the facts as it is, all right? So the emphasis is on providing information without expression of, of personal ex opinions or attempting to sway the reader. So that means that if you're trying to write a, a, an expository essay, that means that you need to um, have thoroughly researched the topic. Or if you don't thoroughly research it, you know about it very well, okay? so. Thorough research is needed when you're writing 
an expository essay. So the reason why you use research is because you want people to believe you. So successful expository essays um, rely on thorough research to ensure accuracy and credibility of the information presented. So you do your research and you make sure that whatever you say is actually true and it makes sense. So thorough research is needed. Next up with expository essays, you want to make sure that you have your stuff organized. So logical organization is needed when you're writing your um, um, expository essays. So you may want to talk about whatever you're talking in order of importance. You may want to have the most important thing first, the least important thing last, or you may want to have the least important thing first, the most important thing last. But whatever it is, it must make sense in how you present it. You may want to connect ideas. Like whatever you do, it must make sense and it must be organized you don't want because you're trying to aim and that's what makes it clear right because it's going to be clear because you are organized so organization plays a part of making it clear and it also helps to show the reader that you're um that you are credible so how do we organize our work well we need we need to organize our work in the body paragraphs um Make sure you have your introduction, body paragraph, and a conclusion. And you want to make sure that each section contributes to the overall coherence and, and flow of the essay. Making sure that whatever you put inside the essay facilitates a smooth reading experience. So a well-structured expository essay Follows, follows a logical progression with a clear introduction, body paragraphs, and conclusion. So that's what we mean by logical organization. And then and then the next the next part of the next characteristic of a expository essay would be using um use using evidence, use of evidence and examples. So when you're writing this expository essay, you have to give evidence on whatever you're saying. And it has to be, it has to flow with whatever the topic that you're talking about. So, so uh, your evidence is basically a way to substantiate your claim. So writers substantiate or back up, right? Um, there are claims. What would be a form of evidence? Anyone? Like, what would be a type of evidence that you could use inside of an expository essay? What do you think? Hello. What are forms of? No, not fingerprints. This is not a FBI. <laughs> Say it again. Footprint. Not footprints. Articles. Articles. Um, how about statistics? Right? By incorporating. So you could use statistics. Right? You can use um, relevant facts. 
So if you're talking about the crime rate in the Bahamas, you could talk about the statistics that came out this year or last year. If you're talking about, you know, the poor nutrition, if you're talking about the poor nutritional habits of Bahamians, you can refer to, you know, how many Bahamians have lost their lives from hypertension and, you know, and diabetes. If you want to talk about, um, if you want to talk about, you know, single, the, the single mother, the dilemma that's happening in the Bahamas, you could talk about the amount of single parent home, like you give the facts, you know, and the statistics concerning that, those things. So whatever you, to support your claims, you could use facts, you could use statistics, those things, you could use examples, all those things substantiate your claim, all right? Examples um, and anecdotes. All these things could help to strengthen your argument. So these, we could say this not only strengthens the argument, but it also enhances the reader's comprehension. All right. Good. So there you have it. Um, Navea, can you give me one um characteristic of an expository essay? Navea. Objective tone. An objective tone, very good. Shadney, give me one characteristic of an expository essay. Use of evidence and examples. Use of evidence and examples. Um, Natalia, give me another characteristic of expository essay. Objective tone. Someone already said that. Use evidence and example. Someone already said that too. <laughs> Something else, Natalia. Thought result, Re not thought result. Um, thought really. Um, thought. Um, my thorough research. Thorough research. My bad. Uh, thorough research. Very good. Um, Rashad, what is the purpose of narrative essays? Rashad, what is the purpose of narrative essay? So, say it again. What's the purpose of narrative essays? Narrative essays. What's the purpose of that? Narrative essays, like when you tell a story, like in a persuasive way. No, no, no. You know to tell the story in a persuasive way. Just telling a story. Um. Now, Michael, what is the purpose of persuasive essays? It seeks to convince. It seeks to convince. Very good. Um, Angel, what's the purpose of a descriptive essay? Angel, what's the purpose of a descriptive essay? Where's Angel? Angel, are you there? Can I from Angel? Bri, what's the purpose of a descriptive essay? It describes in great detail. Describes in great detail. And Brie, what's the purpose of an expository essay? It seeks to explain. It seeks to explain. Very good. Chai. Yes, sir. Um, give me a characteristic of an expository essay. To seek information? Characteristic, a characteristic. Give me a characteristic oh. of an expository essay. Lo local organization? 
logical logical you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Logical. All right. Okay, good. So, narrative essays tells a story. Persuasive essays convince. Descriptive essays um, describes. And expository essays, they seek to, um, basically, they seek to explain. So, let me give you an example of an expository essay so you can understand what we mean by an expository essay. I'm just gonna give you a the topic. So if we are if we are um if we are looking at expository essays, um some examples are gonna be let me just give you all um maybe I can give you let me give you three I guess. So yeah let me give you three. Three should be sufficient. So, if I want to talk about um, the impact of climate change on coral reefs, that would be an expository essay, okay? If I want to talk about the process of photosynthesis in, in plants, that's an expository essay. If I want to talk about the influence of Shakespearean tragedies on model, modern literature, that is also an expository essay, okay? So, why? Because I'm going to explain, I'm going to explain the impact of climate change on coral reefs. I'm going to explain in detail and illuminate your mind and, and help you to understand the process of photosynthesis in plants. And I'm going to help you to understand the influence of Shakespearean tragedies on modern culture. So topics like these are definitely expository essays because you have to explain to the audience who probably don't know about these things, these things what you mean. So never, whatever, talk, whatever topic you have to explain something, in greed, um, and you have to illuminate person's mind. You have to clarify certain things, you know, where you have to, you know, give someone a deep understanding of a subject matter. Um, those will be ex expository essays. Okay. All right, so it's now to be going to be so I'll move over to great exercise. So All right. All right, so let's begin with um, the great exercise. So let me um, start. So if you're not finished with uh, if you're not finished with this slide, then I need you to look inside the chat. You can see. Um,
All right, so great exercise. Number one. So the instructions are the following. Right. N. E. D. Or E. If the essay topics are narrative, persuasive, descriptive, or expository, respectively. All right, so let's begin with number one. So you're gonna write N if it's narrative, write um, P if it's persuasive, write D if it's descriptive, or E if it's um, expository, all right? Number one. Number two. Number All right. The role of woman. So number one is an encounter with a celebrity. Number two is the benefits of adopting a, a plant-based diet. Number three is the role of women in history. Number four is um, the coastal town. Depict the charm and character of a small coastal town. Number five. So write N if it's narrative, D if it's descriptive, P if it's persuasive, E if it's expository. Um, 
number five, the aroma of a coffee shop. Number six. Number six is the evolution of language, trace the development and changes in language over time. Um, Number seven, the importance of art education. Um, You said I miss I mean, I haven't gone anywhere. All right, so you have nine questions. Like I said, write um write N for a narrative, write P for persuasive, D for descriptive, E for expository. All right, the first one is an encounter with a celebrity, share a memorable experience meeting someone famous. Number two, the benefits of adopting a plant-based diet, convince others to consider a plant-based diet for health and environmental reasons. Number three, the role of women in history, examine the contributions and impact 
of Women Throughout History, number four. The quaint coastal town depict the charm and character of a small coastal town. Number five, the aroma of a, of a coffee shop. Explore the century experience of entering a cozy coffee shop. Number six, the evolution of language. Trace the development and changes in language over time. Number seven, the importance of arts education. Argue for the inclusion of arts education in school curriculums. Number eight, the, the most embarrassing mo moment. Recount a moment that left you feeling embarrassed but taught you a valuable lesson. Number nine, the impact of social media on relationships. Explore how social media has changed the dynamics of personal connections. All right. All right, so make sure complete this. Once you finish, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp again. Once you finish with it, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. All right. Um, again, once you finish your work, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, okay, Beth, what number are you on? Number five. Number five. Chardonnay, what number are you on? Number nine. Okay, Sabria, what number are you on? Nine. Number what? Number eight. Number eight. Um, Michael, what number are you on? Number seven. Number seven, good. Um, Atali, what number are you on? Number six. Number six, good. Um, Kiajani, what number are you on? Yeah, Janae, what number are you on? 
क्या आज नहीं बना भाई ओवन नंबर नाइन ओके गुड एंड स्टेसी बन नंबर यू वन नंबर सेवन नंबर सेवन एंड um once you finish take a picture of your work and send it to me via whatsapp again once you finish take a picture of your work and send it to me via whatsapp she on what number you on i on number 8 number 8 for shard what number you on for shard what number you on Rashad, what number you on? Rashad, what number you on? um again once you finish with your work take a picture of it and send it to me via whatsapp Um, Navea, what number you on? I'm already done. I sent the work to you. Okay, that's good. Um, Michael, what number you on? Number nine. Okay. And Natalia, what number you on? I'm answering them. Okay. And Kevin, what number you on? Number nine.
All right. Um, Kemar, where's Kemar? Yes, sir. Where's your work? I saw I'm eight. Have you sent so me a math work? Yes, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry right now. <laughs> Um, KC, what number are you on? Number nine. Number nine. Still waiting on the rest of you to finish. I still haven't received a lot of your work. Um, You're about to receive mine. That's good. Um, Evanese, what number are you on? Number nine. Number nine and Dwayne Slow, what number are you on? Dwayne Slow, what number are you on? Number All right, take a picture of your work and send to me via WhatsApp. Again, take a picture of your work and send to me via WhatsApp. Please include the notes. Again, please include the notes. Don't just send the um don't just send the work, send the notes as well. All right, let's go ahead and answer it. Um, Number one, are you ready? You good? So let's go ahead and answer it. Number one, it says, an encounter with a celebrity. Share a memorable experience. Would y'all offer that one? Narrative. I right. narrative. Okay, I need more than two persons answering, please. Would y'all offer number one? I put N. N, very good. Anyone else got N? I did. I did. Very good. I did. Number two, adopt the benefits of adopting a plant-based diet. Jolly for that one. Persuade. I put persuasive. Very good. Why say why say why say persuasive? Why say persuasive? Because they convince them. Say convince. Very good. Um, number two. Sorry, number three. Um, the role of women in in history. What is that one? Examine the contributions. Expository. Expository. Very good. That's E. Number four, the Quint coastal town. What is that? Descriptive. Descriptive. Very good. That's D. Number five, the aroma of a coffee shop. What is that going to be? Descriptive. Descriptive. That's also descriptive. How do you know it's descriptive? What gave it away? Sensory. What gave it away? Sensory experience. Sensory, sensory experience. Very good. It's about a sensory experience. Uh, number six, the evolution of language. Trace the development and changes in language. Expository. Expository, very good. Number seven, the importance of arts education. I argue for the inclusion of arts education in 
school curriculum. What is this one? Persuasive. Persuasive. Very good. Persuasive. Mm -hmm. Um, the most embarrassing moment. What is that one? Narrative. Narrative. Narrative essay. Very good. And number nine, the impact of social media on relationships. What is that? Expository. Expository. Very good. Expository. Good. Anyone got all right? Nine out of nine? I got all right, Mr. Pati. Yeah, so okay. I did. Okay, good. I get one wrong. Okay, good. Got one wrong. Yes, sir. Okay. I missed my put narrative for number nine. Narrative for number no. No. Okay, so anyone got all right? Anyone else got all right? I did. Okay, I did. Good. All right, good. Uh, once you finish with your work, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp again. Once you finish with your work. Take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, again, once you finish with it, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. All right. Um, if you are finished with your work, if you finish, turn it in. You can leave. Again, once you finish um taking a picture of your work, you can leave. Good night, Mr. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Excuse me, Mr. Bertie. Hello. Can you please explain something to me? Um, what I was practicing inside math class because yeah, sure. sure. I was sending the paper for it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, no problem. Good night, Mr. Petit. Good night, good night. Okay, go ahead, um, Sabria. Yes, sir. I sent it to you. I'm confused about 